I just thought this definition by Charles Massey on regenerative agriculture is probably a really good one. That it's an ecological approach to farming that enables landscapes to renew themselves. And the two important things is enabling that renewal. Okay? So we are, and you know, we've got to be those enablers and look at ourselves in that way. So, and we've been doing that, we're working with nature. So it's just a change to start to work with nature rather than trying to beat it into submission to do what we want it to do a lot of the time. So diversity of, of animal species, diversity of plant species, diversity of microbiology, you know, all that diversity we want to look at how we actually create that in our system. So you know, we, we run um, what we call a flerd, you know, it's a flock and a herd together. So regenerative agriculture is not a destination. It's not, I'm going to be certified organic and here I am. It's, I'm making decisions today to make a change that's going to improve the water that's on my farm, that's going to improve the food that I'm producing, it's going to produce, you know, look after the soil biology, going to have more diverse plants. As soon as you start doing that, you're, you, you're, you're there, you're on the way. And that's, you, you just look at continuing that journey. And importantly, it's reconnecting us with our food. Um, I think that's one thing, and, and I heard on a podcast this morning as I was driving down, is that we've lost that connection. You know, we, we've been told to produce commodities, and in producing commodities, we've lost connection with the consumer, the consumer's lost connection with how that, that stuff's produced. So through our grazing, changing our grazing, giving recovery, um, we're able to actually get some of those things to come back and regenerate back into our pastures. Okay, so destocking and keeping ground cover during the drought and allowing that to recover before we put stock onto it back in when that drought broke. Um, and then giving recovery, sufficient recovery for those plants to regrow and restore their energy every time we graze them. So a couple of things that we've been doing, back to the principles. Creating a living root in the ground all the time. So when we first took over in winter, you saw that those paddocks had virtually nothing growing in the winter because the way that the pastures have been grazed before we took over, the stock were in there in paddocks for long periods of time over winter. So every time a winter active grass chucked up and said, I'm going to grow, a cow came along and took it out. And eventually they just they'll disappear, they die out. So to start with, we went, okay, we want to get some living roots back in there. And so we broadcast out oats into this paddock. 